हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट 24 फील्ड रिसर्च एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग पार्टिसिपेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन द एथनोग्राफर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डेवलप सर्टेन स्पेशल पर्सनल क्वालिटीज टू मेंटेन अ बैलेंस बिटवीन द इनसाइडर एंड द आउटसाइडर Burgess identifies other personal abilities to be able to share in the lives and activities of other people, to learn their language and meanings, to remember action and speech, to interact with a range of individuals in different social situations. Brewer writes that there are two ways in which the social sciences use participant observation to understand the world as it is seen by the acting within it and to reveal the taken for granted common sense nature of that everyday world itself. The former is the traditional uses in the social sciences where social groups or specific fields are studied from inside. However, the development in the 1960s of the ethno-methodology in sociology and some new forms of interactionalism led to an interest in the common sense methods and procedures by which routine activities are accomplished. Such researchers are among many things studying the organization of conversation decision making in an organizational setting even walking and sleeping. In some cases, the participant observes those fields of which he or she is already a part. The requirements and problems of using participant observation as a method are very different from those for whom the settings are unfamiliar as in the traditional case. Sometimes an existent role is utilized to explore the dimensions of a new setting or field in which the role naturally locates the observer. A good example is Cohen and Taylor's use of their role as part-time teachers to study prisoners and prison life. The strategy of observation in most roles can be covert or overt and the researcher needs to have special skills in order to be successful. In new roles, for instance, the observer has to win the confidence of people, re-socialize into the practices and values of the group and spend a long time in the field to have a full experience of the activities and events. If the role is covert, the observer should be dedicated, tenacious and maintain the pretense of an insider, depending upon the field situation. The researcher often has to make a decision about the nature of participation required situations, condition, whether or not to participate and to what extent. In such context, researchers, instead of getting totally absorbed in the field situation, choose to selectively participate. Such actions have been constructed as quasi-participation in social science field work. Participant observation involves not only observation but the researchers uses triangulation that is using a number of techniques like observation, genealogies, interviews, questionnaires, dues, life histories, case studies, oral histories and today even participatory ruler appraiser PRA and rapid ruler appraiser RRA to collect both primary and secondary sources from the field. Although relying more on qualitative research, quantitative details are 
also used to substantiate arguments and construct case studies. Participant observation therefore is an arduous and a tough process of the data gathering and cannot be replaced by smash and grab ethnographies. At the heart of this method is involvement and de-attachment. On the positive side, the access to social meaning, shared beliefs and values and nuances of everyday activity that one gets through this method is difficult to get through any other technique. The scope and limits of participant observations are however constrained by the physical limits of the role and location of the researchers. Since this method is most useful in micro setting and generalizations arrived at reflect the partial picture. The reflexive researchers recognize the value of their views as significant, especially in articulating the linkages between the micro and the macro. Now let us conclude the unit. The unit has introduced you to the vast theme of field research, which is the mainstay of generating new information about the social world that sociologists and anthropologists try to understand and explain. It has traced in brief the history of field research and discussed the subject of ethnography. Further, it has elaborated on the issues of selecting the research theme, designing the research plan and gaining entry to the field, taking about the main sources of driving information in the field. The unit has explained what it is to be a participant observer and subsequent use of this experience at the time of analyzing one's field data. This detailed introduction to the field research has paved the way for a discussion of field research methods in next unit to which we will now turn in our next session. Now let us wind up the session. We have come to the end of the unit. Thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcast.